Welcome to the MAG Network Podcast. Hello everybody and welcome to this next edition of the MAG Network Podcast. Uh, today I'm speaking to Richard from uh, up in York. Uh, Richard, do you want to introduce yourself first of all? Hi, uh, my name is Richard Sudderby. Uh, I'm branch rep uh, and political rep for York Motorcycle Action Group. Okay, and the uh, the subject that we're going to be discussing, perhaps not uh, much of a surprise to many people, is uh, what's going on at uh, in Whitby at the uh, at the train station. Do you want to uh, just give us a brief update for anybody who's not aware of what exactly is happening there? At Northern have uh, taken it upon themselves to erect a signpost uh, completely out of the blue. Uh, they've had they have no no communication to anybody, including businesses. There's been no prior warnings. Um, Basically, what they've done is they've just done an outright ban for motorcycles uh, using their premises. Uh, so that means they can't even use any bays. It, it's, it includes people wanting to use the train as well. Um, it, it's all come about. Um, I think it's been more because they, they, they take up car spaces and they, they do park on the footpath, but it's been unchallenged for many, many, many years. And then, then all of a sudden, uh, they've just stuck this signpost up and yeah, discriminate. So, Michael's. When did you first become aware of this sign going up? How long has it been there? Uh, I was first made aware of it on the first of December. Uh, I, I was uh, made aware. Uh, I had a, a picture sent to me uh, from somebody over in the area uh, saying, "Did you know anything about this?" And I didn't. And as soon as I was aware of it, I, I jumped straight on it. Uh, I sent an email straight to, straight away to uh, inquiries at Northern. Uh, and still to this date, from what are we on? Is it the twelfth today? I think it is twelfth today. Yeah, yeah, still haven't had a reply. Uh, I sent them another email yesterday uh, with a little bit more of an ultimatum. Still haven't had a reply. Um, I've had, I've got Scarborough News. They, they've done a little this article on it. They they want to they want to cover if we do a demo. They want to cover it. Um, Look North have been in touch with me. Uh, they, they'd like to do a. Uh, story on it so that, that'll go regional so we're just waiting for for northern to pull the finger out really and, and give us a an official response instead of a, a set of these uh, little responses that they're being given to the general public they, they mm-hmm. haven't responded to anybody official yet it's it's just been the general public they've replied to yeah so i mean obviously from, from what i've seen there's there's been a few people who've received what seems like a template email response when they have uh tried contacting them uh you've obviously not received anything Nothing. different to that i've had absolutely um and obviously this this affects the uh the whistle stop cafe that's in in the uh on the premises if you like um where there's a there's a bike now bike night held on a regular basis um have you been in touch with them at yes all? i have i was in touch with them straight away um, I, I spoke to one of the co-owners, uh, one, the, the lady, she's called Gemma. Uh, she's very concerned. Uh, she feels that, that they're going to lose 50% of the trade, which would be quite damaging. Uh, and Northern just, they don't seem to care. So I I, I take it that uh, they, they didn't receive any, any warnings that no. this was going to happen themselves. No. So as, as a business on, you know, at the car park, they, they weren't given any prior warning or, or anything like no, that. No, nobody has. There, there hasn't been, and, and, and even the staff going out and, and telling people, can you move your bike, please? Or can you not park there? Or can you leave can, can you leave the grounds, please? There's been absolutely nothing. All they've done is they've just taken a lazy approach to police in the area just by sticking a sign up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, do you know? Is is this um, obviously there's a threat there of fines? Do you know if this is in place at the moment? How they are actually going to go about um, enforcing it? Have there, has there uh, been I, any news of anybody getting a fine? No, I think uh, I think news is got about, and I think people uh, they don't want to get a fine. So, as far as I'm aware, I don't think anybody's been. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Um, Obviously, you've 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 contacted the lo- the local press. They they're interested in what's going on. There's been no formal responses. Um, what what's your what's your plans? I mean, you, I think you've mentioned that uh, potentially there'll be a demonstration. Yes. Have, they, uh, have you got Have you got a date for that as, as yet, or is that no, something no, that's not yet. been organised? We we haven't come up with a date yet. I've uh, I'm going to escalate it a little further first. Uh, I've already been in contact with uh, Councillor King Duncan. He's a uh, conservative. He is. Uh, the executive for uh, transport uh, within North Yorkshire, I contacted him last night. 
it normally gets back to me straight away. I think this is quite a quite a big deal. Um, I think he'll he'll, he'll take us on avenues. Uh, so I've, I've got our our contact in uh, North Yorkshire Council. Uh, he's aware. Uh, the the company Northern. I think they're privately uh, so publicly owned. I, I thought they were privately owned, uh, which means uh, say uh, Robert Goodwill. The MP for Scarborough and Whitby uh, is going to be on our next uh, part of call. I'll, I'll send him a, a letter asking him uh, his his approach, his, his feelings on the whole subject. And then if I don't get anywhere with that, then we will be staging a demo. And there is mm-hmm. a lot of support. Yes, I, certainly. I've I've seen. Uh, obviously, I, I'm not to, in any way local to you down down here in the Midlands, but uh, I've seen plenty of coverage on uh, social media and in in the uh, the press about this. So I think it's not something that is going to go away, uh, or just uh, people are going to roll over quietly to accept it. So um, I think there will be a lot of support if you do take further action. Um, uh, to me, it does it does seem sort of like entirely discriminatory is that um they're, they're only aiming this at motorcyclists um they're not uh, they're not giving you any option to pay for the parking as i understand it either that's right they? so so it's a case of yeah if you, even even if you wanted to to pay a char a, a parking fee there's not there's not an option to to do that it is simply a, a an across the band ban or um on a single transport uh, right. user group uh, yeah. which happens to be motorcyclists yeah. Um, in terms of um, obviously the, uh, the 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 coverage that it's getting and the support you're getting, well, obviously I think uh, you're encouraging everybody to to write in to to Northern Rail and to their councillors and everything else. Um, do you think that there's anything else that can be done in the short term, or is is this um, basically we've got to wait wait for replies from um, politicians and and then take the next step? I, I think I think that's probably the most sensible approach for now. Is, is to go about it the, the political way around doing things, uh, contacting, lobbying the, the, the appropriate officers and the appropriate people. And then if, if we don't get any responses or uh, a desired outcome or a fair outcome, as I've been putting it to everybody, uh, then we will uh, take further action. Okay. So, yes, I mean, obviously, this is something that uh, we, we will uh, keep people updated on. Um, is there anything that uh, that you feel that um, we can do at, at the at the national level to push this, or is this? Do you think at the moment something that, that needs to be approached, uh, you know, as as a local campaign in in the uh, in the York and Whitby area? I, th- I think it's it would be advantageous if 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 on a national level it was made aware. Um, basically, it, it just shame Northern. Uh, they're they're part of the Department for Transport. If, if people were aware that it's a government body that's running this company, uh, so at the end of the day, somebody in the government has made this decision. So I, I do think on a national level, if mm. if if it was broadcasted, it would probably it would probably get a desired outcome a little easier. Yes, yeah. So uh, it's, it's it's one of these things that uh, I think we need, we need to look at what what routes we can take uh, to put pressure on um, from from the uh, from Northern Rail's perspective. I mean, it would be interesting to see. I think uh, some of some of the responses are saying it's due to complaints that have been raised. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how many complaints have been raised and by whom. Um, very often, I think this is just a, an excuse or a cover for a, a decision that's being made regardless. But um, yeah, I think uh, we, we will look to see what we can do um, from, from a national perspective, obviously, make sure that everybody is kept informed. Um, and um, if people want to keep up to date with it, is the best way to follow the uh, the York Mag Facebook page? Yes, presumably. Yes, that, yeah. that would be the best way of doing it. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, that's that's great. Well, thank, thanks for your time uh, uh, for for speaking to me, and um, we'll uh, we'll obviously keep everybody abreast of uh, of any developments. Um, but uh, yeah, the first portal call is obviously the uh, the York Mag Facebook page, which I'm, uh, I assume is relatively easy for people to find if they haven't already. Uh, but we'll put a link into it with this uh, in the, with this uh, video so that everybody can uh, can. Uh, follow the page and hopefully keep up to date with what's what the latest uh, news is on this uh, particular issue thank you okay thank you very much